Hey, yo, Cutie Pie. I'm going to show you 10 better Discord plugins that will help your organization in Discord. So to start off, we need to know how do you download better Discord? Well, you go to the first link in the description and you will click the big download button. It will download and all you need to do is open it up. Now, just before we install better Discord, I'm just going to say that better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. Nevertheless, I'm going to sign off my life and click next, click next, and I need to select the Discord version. I'm going to choose the top one because it's just the only one I have. You might have the public test beta or you might have Canary. Just select those if you want and click install. Now, once it installs, it'll restart your Discord. And once Discord opens up, you'll see this notification down here, loading emotes and all this other stuff. That's a very good sign. And to validate whether or not you've installed better Discord, you need to go to the bottom left, click on the user settings, scroll down, and you will see Better Discord, Settings, Emotes, Custom CSS, Plugins, which we are using, and Themes. Speaking of plugins, how do I install and download plugins? Well, all you need to do is, first off, you can go to this same website again and click Plugins, and browse the vast assortment of them, but I'm particularly going to show you how to download the Server Counter plugin. So all you need to do is click on the Download button, and you may or may not get a pop-up saying that this file can harm your computer. Just press Keep, it won't harm your computer, it's completely fine. So, to actually import this plugin into Discord, you need to open up Discord again, click Plugins, open your Plugins folder, it might open up behind Discord, just click on it, and you will see a nice and empty folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Downloads folder in a new window by just navigating to it, right-clicking and clicking Open a New Window, and I see all these plugins that I've downloaded, which are the ones I'm going to showcase in this particular video. I am going to just drag them right into the Plugins folder. And now Discord is all loading all these plugins and it's saying a whole bunch of stuff. And you might have certain plugins that need a specific library plugin. All you need to do is click download now and it will download the Zeri's plugin library, which if that doesn't work, if you try clicking on Zeri's plugin library or download and it doesn't work, just look for it in the plugins section on the website. Now, once you have all your plugins installed, you might need to keep on pressing download now and Ideally, everything will be loaded. Now, mine is obviously a lot in your face because I'm installing a whole bunch of them. So there are particular libraries that will need to be installed with certain plugins, and it'll usually prompt you to download them, and it'll automatically plug them into your plugins folder. And those libraries are BDFDB, and there's another one called Zeri's Plugin Library, which I talked about before. If you enable both of those, then every single plugin in this video will be useful and it will work consistently and properly. So to start off, we're gonna look at the better friends list. I'm going to enable it, and you will see a couple of changelog things. Now, if you wanna customize anything, you can go into settings, and you see a whole bunch of settings, add total amount, blah, 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 you can customize them there. So what the better friends list plugin does is it allows you to actually filter and sort through your friends list. Mind you, I only have one friend, which is kind of unfortunate, so I can't show you all of the functionality and make it really easy to see, but it allows you to sort by name, status, and you can also search for particular people. Mind you, if I type in no text-to-speech, you'll probably see my name because I'm the only purse friend of this account. Anywho, moving on, that's basically it. It allows you to organize, filter through. Pretty straightforward. The next plugin we're looking at is display servers as channels. Now, if you just exit out simply, you will see that now all your servers have this nice little look to them. You might like that, you might not. I feel like it's maybe a little bit easier to navigate, but at the same time, it adds a little bit of bulk. There are some settings that you can modify. So if I go back to my plugins folder and I click on the settings, you can change the width in pixels and the height in pixels. You can also remove the icon if you don't like the icon and you want a nice clean look just like that. Now for our next plugin, I am going to enable the server counter plugin. Once again, you'll have a couple things pop up, but when you close it, you'll see it on the top left, very hard to see in the recording. It's also pretty small, but you'll see that I am in six servers, which is true. Just something to keep in mind if you want to kind of prune your server list and get a little bit more organized. Speaking of servers, we have our next plugin called Server Search. And that's great if you have a whole bunch of servers. And what it does is it creates a button on the top left that allows you to search a whole bunch of servers. And it's pretty straightforward. No, text to speech. So I can join my own server. Mind you, if this icon does not pop up when you enable the plugin, you may need to press Control R to refresh Discord. And it will pop up once it loads back in. Our next plugin is Server Folders. Now, Server Folders is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to create folders for your servers, but you could already do that normally. 
But what this one allows you to do is allows you to customize them to a massive extent. So I'm gonna add a whole bunch of my pro gamer servers into a folder. And once you put them in a folder, right click it and click folder settings. Now this allows you to change the folder name like usual, but you can also change the icon of it. You can change the color. You can change the tooltip color, which if you hover over it, that'll be the tooltip. And you can add your own custom icon. I'm gonna quickly change this to games to just show you the functionality, make it as one of these folders. And you see that there's white and black. I'm gonna go to folder color. I'm gonna change the primary color to blue and the secondary color to green. And I'm going to click save. And now you see I have a folder that the primary color is blue and the secondary color is green and I can click it. It'll open up and have this very nice window that I personally like. So for our last and final server focused plugin, we have server hider. Now server hider allows you to hide certain servers in your list. It's pretty straightforward. Let's say you still want to stay in the league of legends discord server, but you hate the toxicity. Just right click on it, server visibility and select hide server and it'll disappear. But how do you recall your servers? Well, you need to right click on a different icon, manage your server list, and you will see that I hid League of Legends. So enable it and press OK. And that's how you undo it. Basically just clean up all the garbage that you still wanna stay in for some reason. It's an addicting game. And if for some particular reason you can't access that hidden server menu, all you need to do is just go to the settings of Server Hider, press on the settings and click Reset and press OK, and it will unhide everything and bring you right back to normal. Now, for the next section of the video, it's gonna focus very much on power users who want to customize a lot. So we have this whole entire edit plugin suite. We have edit servers, edit channels, edit users, and edit roles. This allows you to literally change anything that you want, basically, if you enable all of them. I'm gonna start by just looking at edit servers, and we'll go from there. So enable edit servers and you can go through the settings and change these however you want. I'm going to click done and go back to servers. Now the League of Legends server is great, but I don't like the icon. Well, you can change it. Right click, go to local server settings and change settings. Now, if you are a server admin, make sure that if you wanna use this plugin, you are changing the local server settings. This is only for you only. No one else will see these changes except you. So you can change a whole bunch of different settings, the icon color, the tooltip color. You choose however the heck you want it. You can even change the icon or remove it. And for our next plugin, we'll be looking at edit channels. Now edit channels basically has the same functionality as edit servers. You have a whole bunch of settings you can go through, like tons, literally tons. So I'm gonna start off by going into League of Legends. Now I am not a League of Legends Discord admin which is great because it shows you that no matter what, you can still customize different servers. So maybe I wanna change the rule book or the rules channel to something a lot different. So I'm gonna right click on it, go to local channel settings and change settings. And this will allow me to change it to a fancy name like the rules and maybe change the color of it and press save. And it will change the color of it and make it look great. This will be fantastic for anyone that wants to organize a very disorganized server, kind of like mine allows you to do whatever the heck you want. Now for our next plugin in the edit suite, we have edit roles. Now this one's a little more nuanced and trickier to get to, but it's pretty straightforward. If you wanna change the color of the nitro booster color because for some reason you don't like it, it's just not up to your color palette. All you need to do is click on someone's name, right click on their role, go to local role settings and change settings. Now you can call them something like rich people because only rich people boost servers and click save and what it will do is actually rename all of the server boosters locally as rich people and change the color to green so this allows you to kind of organize maybe if a server like mine has a whole bunch of weird different colors for everyone you can organize it as basically admins and not admins so you know when to talk trash and when not to and for the last plugin of the edit suite, we have edit users. Now this one is my favorite because you get to change anyone's name when you don't have permissions. So click enable. And once again, like every single one of these edit plugins, you have settings that allow you to change a lot of settings, but I am going to show you that how to change it. All you need to do to change their appearance locally is right click on their name, go to local user settings and click change settings. Now I can call them whatever. And uh, you could have it where do not overwrite nicknames. And basically you could have this where if they change their nickname on the server, it will overwrite what you did. I mean, most people probably won't use that. You could add a tag, avatar, you could remove their avatar, set it to whatever, custom status, 
poop emoji. And you could change some of the settings to be pretty mean. You can also change the name color if you want, if you don't want to go through particular roles and do that. You can also go tag color and change that. And you can change their message color, which is actually extremely useful if you have maybe a little tight-knit community of friends that you talk to, and they really don't want to have their weird colors, and you just want to organize who's who because everyone has the same name for some particular reason, and you're just not in on the joke. You could select a color and click save. Now you'll see that I have mean admin, the tag is loser, I could change the color of any of that, and his status is League of Legends pointing to a poop emoji. Now that's pretty funny. Obviously, a lot of my examples are very surface level, but this allows you to customize any part of a Discord server without having to be an admin or a moderator or even host your own server. So this is great. Moreover, it also helps if you just want to organize yourself. Now, going back to plugins, if you don't like any of these plugins anymore, all you have to do is just turn them off, and if you don't want them anymore, click delete. If you want to delete all of them at once, just open the plugins folder. You might have to go to the bottom left and open it up, and all you need to do is just delete all of these files. Now, one last thing. Let's say you don't want Better Discord anymore. Well, Better Discord's installer is actually extremely straightforward. I'm going to close it, and I'm gonna go back to my downloads, go to the installer and click on it, and you will see this license agreement, sign off your life again on it, press next, click uninstall Better Discord, click on your Discord instance, and click uninstall. It will restart, and everything will be back to normal. And uh, have fun making your friends have weird, funny names. Mwah. I know you're going to do that.